Howdy folks, welcome to Performance PCs TV. I'm Matt, and today I'm bringing you guys the latest build log that we have for you. Now, to say that this build has taken me a little while to complete would be a massive understatement. If you guys have been around the channel for a little while, you might have seen some of the older streams or other videos that we've put up that I've completed on this build, but today I'm actually bringing you guys the finished build log. She's done as far as I can tell for now at least. Now before we go any further, I obviously can't thank all the people that were involved in this build enough. I've got numerous brands as well as my own boss Hank and a few friends that have all pitched in and made this actually happen. It really wouldn't have been possible without them. Now before we go any further, I just want to give you guys a little bit of backstory on how she got her name. If you couldn't tell, it's Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. And the reason why I chose this name is because I actually had a 350Z a number of years ago that I named Bulma. And a few years ago, while I was riding in my car as a passenger, the driver ended up crashing the car into a tree. It was a pretty serious accident. I was airlifted. Everybody made it out alright though. We're all healed up and better now. And that's why I chose to do this build. And first and foremost, I just want to point out the paintwork is actually done by Daniel Cannon himself. He painted the case and it's the exact same color my actual 350Z was. All in all, there's a bunch of little bits and pieces to this build that really kind of bring it back together and kind of culminate what that car was for me. To say this build has some sentimental value to me would definitely be one way to put it. But now we got that out of the way, let's dive right in to how this all happened.
that's how I built and modified my Spectre 2.0 from Singularity Computers. Like I said in the very beginning, I really couldn't have done it without the help of all my sponsors as well as my friends. If you guys are wondering how I did any of the mods or what parts I used specifically, please just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer you as soon as I can, and I will be linking as many parts as I can in the description. However, as you can tell, there's just too many to list them all. If I learned anything from my experience with my Spectre build, I'd have to say that taking your time really doesn't hurt anything because I don't think I would have gotten here if I would have actually rushed it. Now, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching this one as well as any of the other content I had on this build. If you guys are looking for more content to watch, please subscribe and check out our channel and see everything that we have to offer. Otherwise, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And until next time, see you guys later and happy water cooling.